As the Texas A&M football team gets ready to take on LSU, students are hard at work putting together Aggie Bonfire off campus. If you know anything about Aggies, tradition is something that never goes away and continues to burn in the heart of every Aggie, no matter the time or distance. Organizing Bonfire is no easy task, and we've got one reporter who joined the ranks and put a little personal touch on Bonfire this year. Tristan Lewis has the story. It is a bright and sunny fall day in the Brazos County. Dozens of Aggies wake up early to put their fair share of work on the off-campus organization, Student Bonfire. All this hard work and extra time that we've put in has really paid off, and our students out here are really seeing that now as we're getting these windows covered up and this third tier is getting thicker. Lifting heavy piles of wood, using heavy equipment, all to make sure burn night is successful and goes off without a hitch. The bonfire is what's in the heart of every Aggie, and it really shows amongst all these students that are out here working and building on this thing. Since Texas A&M University stopped bonfire after the 1999 collapse, a group of students restarted the event off campus in 2003 and has been going ever since. 2019 head stack red pod Ashton Vara says a big part of why it still goes on is because of the family it forms. Once we get out here, we're building friends, we're building relationships that are going to last a lifetime. The process that goes into bonfire is a lengthy one. Students and alums spend weeks getting stacked ready for burn night. Once you get out of here and you really start working and building on it, you realize how crucial you are to the organization is in. Student Bonfire starts its first cut in the beginning of September, then heads over to the stack site in late October to build and get Bonfire ready for burn night. We have a cut class at the beginning of the season, explain kind of how the organization runs, all the calls, and what needs to be done at cut or stack. If anybody's willing to come out and work, we're willing to accept. So I took Ashton up on that offer and came ready to work. After filling out a few forms, I got my volunteer helmet and quickly got to work. I'd honestly say the work that goes into it, I feel like they think with this many people it would be a whole lot easier. I was one of those people who thought stack would be easier than it was. I, I work out regularly. I would say I'm pretty strong. So going into it, I was kind of like, oh, this should be easy. I can lift these logs. I don't know why we have like 20 people on the logs. I quickly found out. That was not the case. It's a lot heavier than you think. <laughs> I remember picking it up. I was like, oh my gosh, I I'm bowing out at this point. It truly does take every single person's help to get one log from point A. It's crucial. I mean, we're moving logs that could weigh as much as a car. To point B. I felt at some point, I was like looking around and like, who is not carrying this right now? The day I went to stack, we carried base and trees close to stack raise logs up ourselves. Then we have our base crew and our log crew. Our base crew pushes down on the very end of the log to make sure it stays in place while our log crew assists in lifting it up to stack. Pull rope to help pull the logs up. We have our rope crew that's in charge of actually pulling it up with that tag line. Besides having the strength to do these tasks. It was a lot of heavy lifting. Um, I'm probably gonna be sore tomorrow. Have a couple bruises. Ashton tells me dedication is a requirement. We worked until about 2 o'clock last night, and then we got back out here at 9. Dedication you can clearly see throughout Bonfire. We have people that have families that come out here almost nightly. Striking a conversation with people working on stack, you'll find Aggies that travel from Houston, Galveston, all over Texas every weekend to help on Bonfire. And seeing these guys that are older than me come out that are still willing to work and put in the time really speaks for what we are as an organization and how we interact with people. It is a tradition like Student Bonfire that links Aggies together. And getting to live the tradition and come out and seeing it is, is a big part of people understanding what we're doing and why we're doing it. Reporting in Bryan, I'm Tristan Lewis. Thank you, Tristan. Tomorrow is burn night. Gates open at noon. The event kicks off at 8.15 p.m. Then they light a stack a half hour later at 8.50. We'll bring you full coverage at 6 and 10 o'clock.